I will teach you about Android Jetpack and what are its components. Hello guys and welcome to Master Coding Channel. We will continue with the complete Android developer course and we will start a new section called Jetpack. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss daily uploads. If you have any questions, projects, suggestions, tutorials you want us to make, please comment it below. Please like our videos so you'll help us making new videos every day. Let's move to next level of Android coding and master the Jetpack. So what is Android Jetpack? Recently Google has announced a set of new libraries for designing Android applications architecture, Android architecture component. So Android uh, Jetpack is a toolkit that is used by our developers to create Android apps for a short period of time without making much effort. This is the, the, the talk of Google. So this pack includes a libra a libraries and specific uh, special guide. Jetpack has specific components that connects and so-called uh, support library and uh, there are four categories that are formed from components mentioned below like architecture ui fo ui foundation and behavior we will learn every component in details so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and follow our tutorials and download master android application from play store and this is our uh, channel, Master Coding Channel. So, Android Jetpack. So, what is Android Jetpack? As I told you, it is divided to four components. It is the architecture component. Data, it consists of or including data binding, life cycles, live data, navigation, paging, room, view model, and work manager. The UI component includes including the animation and transitions, auto, TV, where, images, fragment, layout, palette. The foundation section consists of uh, app co compact, compact uh, Android KTX, and uh, multi-dex, and test. Behavior, download manager, medium playback, permissions, notifications, sharing, and slices. Now, the architecture component, which the, the, we are uh, con we are going to con concentrate on uh, on it. This is the the uh, main uh, or the best section that we are going to concentrate and master because it consists of uh, of very uh, amazing and powerful uh, uh, powerful uh, improvements in the android uh, uh, coding so what is android architecture android architecture components are a collection of libraries that help you to design robust uh, testable and maintainable apps Start with classes for managing your uh, UI component, life cycles, and handling data persistence by watching the next couple of uh, videos in our channel. So you will learn the basics of putting together a, robo a robust app with a guide to app architecture, and you'll learn how to manage your app, uh, your app's life cycle using the life cycles aware component which will help you to manage your activity and fragment life cycle, survive configurations, changes, avoid memory leaks, and easily load data to, uh, into your UI. Next, we will move to live data, to, uh, and we'll learn how to use this live uh, data to build data objects that notify views when the underlying database changes. And in navigation, we'll learn about how to uh, to uh, connect the activities and how we are going to use the or uh, master the UX uh, UX 
uh, job or career. Now, the view model, the view model stores UI related data that is not destroyed on app rotations. So we are going to see uh, or illuminate the problem uh, facing us with, uh, when a rotation changes. So we are going to miss some objects and uh, some uh, UI related data. So view model is a solution. And last, in the architecture, we are going to, to see how room database is very important to learn because room is an SQLite object mapping library. So we are going to use it to avoid boilerplate code and easily convert SQLite table data to Java objects. If you if you uh, have been facing some problems in the SQL light and uh, tables and queries, and you are going uh, and you want to uh, reduce these boilerplate codes and uh, these uh, vulnerabilities and these uh, bugs, you are going to use Room. I introduced Room because it provides a compiled time checks for SQLite statements and can run Rx, Java, flowable and live data observables. So Room is very important. It's, a, a, it's kind of checking the SQLite statement and ensuring that you are not missing any entities and you are uh, connecting the Java, the SQL table, uh, light table data to Java objects. And in next, uh, when we finish the architecture, we will move to the UI, then the foundation and the behavior. So thank you guys. And this, uh, and this is a very fast overview for uh, our new section or new chapter in the complete Android developer course. If you are uh, here the first time, please uh, subscribe below to get the next couple of videos. Thank you guys. I hope I see you in next videos. Don't miss to check daily uploads. See you. See you.